It's week 16 of the National Football League, and this one features Josh Jacobs. He's trying to join the ultra-exclusive club of 2,000-yard rushers in a single year. It's the Packers and the Saints on Monday night primetime. We've all waited long enough to get here. It's time for some football as we welcome you to the NFL on EA Sports. Joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over him for big yardage and maybe six points too. The holidays have arrived. Thank you for spending a part of them with us. We're away in week 16 on EA Sports. Find some space. He's past the 30. It's an excellent return, but he gets popped at the end of it. So the Saints offense taking over for the first time here. Leading them out in year 11. He's played 15 or more games every season in the league. A real Iron Man, Derek Carr. Well, it was another very statistically productive season down in New Orleans for Derek Carr a season ago. Another 25 touchdowns, almost 4,000 yards. And what I love about this guy is he is remarkably durable. He's played 15-plus games all 10 seasons that he's been a starter in this league. That's called the ability of durability, to be there for you guys. Now, the next step in New Orleans is to take this franchise to the playoffs. Second and three now. This is Alvin Kamara with it. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. That one gains seven. And the Saints are going to have a first down. Pressure coming for Carr. He's got Shaheen. On the move, past the 40. And they can't chop to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? So many times, Kate, when I see these receiver screens, I think punt return. It's like a punt return. On punt return, it's all about those blocks. The returner's got to catch it, and he's got to feel those blockers in front of him. It's no different on a big play like this with the wide receiver screen. Carr with it on first. This is complete to Olave. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. We give on second to Camara. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. His drive has been excellent. A few shots now. It's starting with six as they come up on it. First and goal. Car here from the gun. And he'll score. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints finish up an excellent opening series. Chris Olave with the touchdown. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Extra point try is good by McManus. And the Saints will jump out to a 7-0 lead.
On now is McManus to kick this away. Starting from the five. Only manages to get this back to the 20 before he's taken down. So now it's the Packers getting that on offense for their opening drive. Bringing them out, someone who wowed last year in his first chance as a starter, Jordan Love. Two numbers that a lot of people were focused on from his performance last week. That would be three and zero, as in touchdowns and interceptions. That's a quarterback who was efficient, aggressive in the right spots, but he took great care of the football. And of course, well, he cares less about those two numbers. He's more about the alphabet, like that letter W, picking up the win in that ball game. Ready. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. We get a look at his rushing numbers from last week here. What he was able to do in support of that win. Second and three now. Going run again with Jacobs. And he's brought down for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, well, it came at the perfect time. Love on third and short. Launches one deep downfield. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. Well, no look on his first look of the game. And that leaves them with fourth and five. The Packers send out their punting unit. And this is a worm burner. He did not hit that one well. And they'll down this one a little shy of the 40. This New Orleans offense ready up for its second drive of the contest. And they take the field exactly where they want it to be, Brock. Off a touchdown early and with the home crowd a little quieter than normal. I'm not going to lie to you, Kate. I think most quarterbacks, competitors love playing on the road when they do just this. Just quiet them, right? Turn them against their own team. They were quiet after that opening touchdown. You score another one, you can start to murmur, and we might even hear a few boo birds. I think we're starting to get a feel, aren't we, of why they like him so much in coverage. He reacts well to throws, is super adept at breaking up passes through contact, or like that one before they could ever reach the target. Camara running out of the gun. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Andrew and Cooper there to make the stop. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. From the shotgun, Carr. Into the hands of Olave. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Kamara now on first and 10. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. I know that may look like a whole lot of nothing burger on the stat sheet, but those are the kind of plays, that inside run, that you see creative play action come off of later in the game. So we're through one as everyone tries to stay warm on what has been a very cold night. 7-0 is our score. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. We're back for the second quarter. Saints in possession of the football. They've got second and seven to start. They stay on the ground with Camara. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. You know, that's so hard for me, Kate. That's the type of effort that deserves better when it comes to the results. It's going to show up as a negative run on the stat sheet, but that was not the runner's fault. He did all he could to fight to get back to the line, but this defense just kept swarming. Connects with Johnson. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. 
You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And this one is center chains. Couldn't have hit that much better. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Returning it from the four. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Let's go now. Ten. Hunt. Ready. Hand off here to Jacobs. He's corralled after a modest four-yard gain. Kirby Joseph up for the stop. Now after that play, we have somebody banged up down there. Injuries never welcome sight so close to the end of the season. They're out to attend to him. Second and six coming up here. Down. Set. They stick with Jacobs. He's forward, gets a couple of yards. Chase Young bringing him down there. Give him two on the run, and that's going to set him up with third and four. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. He's going deep! And he's there to send that one away incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And fourth and four coming up. Daniel Whelan on to punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And he's going to call for the fair catch here at the 38-yard line. No return on that punt. And the Saints will get set to take over. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Putting the tight end in motion. They're going to start on the ground with Kamara. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Another run for Kamara. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. And following the play, we've got a break in the action as the trainers head out. They had a man hurt on the play, and hopefully this doesn't affect his availability for the playoffs. Let's see what they went with on third down. They kick the running back in motion. Carr staring down a third and long. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So many coaches love third downs, and they practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know you've got to execute and convert on these third downs. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Punt meets him at the 28. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The Packers are headed back to the field, so we'll get a look at Romeo Dobbs. And he's been having such a great season in this offense. You can see, actually top five in the league in receiving touchdowns so far. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten, coming up. Here we go, here we go. Love out of the shotgun. Gets everything he has under this throw. And this is going to end up incomplete. Really aired it out there on first down, but just couldn't make the connection. Hey, uh, Mr. Quarterback down there, uh, that's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage was waiting for it. QB super fortunate that ball wasn't picked. An incompletion, still pretty good for the defense, too. 
Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Brought down by Tyron Matthew. Six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damn... Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions to get more depth. But a 20-step drop? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. Again, Daniel Whelan heading out for another punt. Back deep for the Saints is Rashid Shaheed. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. And this one touched down inside the 30. The New Orleans offense set to go now. They didn't add to their lead last time out. They punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. They go play action with Khan. Looking right, and he finds him. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. Motion in left is their running back. From the 36. And he let his man just a little too much there. That's an incomplete pass. First time this game, they've looked to him. And now they'll face a third and three. Carr back to throw. The screen pass falls incomplete. His first target doesn't lead to his first catch. So they're going to have to evaluate things now on fourth and short. Here comes the Saints punting unit. Keyshawn Nixon returning this for the Packers. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Nice kick there. It's a punt of 53 yards. And the Packers will take over possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Ready. Takes the handoff, now Love. He beams one, deep right side. He's got it deep downfield. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Throwing all the way to the end zone here. Ooh, we put way too much on that one, Brock. Over the end zone and out. That throw doesn't lead to six. So second down coming up. Here we go, set. Set. Play fake, it's love. Throwing deep for the end zone. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. So now it's going to be third and long. Well, that was all about the eyes. You've got to read the quarterback's eyes as a defender and make sure you know where that throw is going. And when it does, you've got to react and knock it away. That is well done. Here we go. Ready, ready. Throwing his love on third. That's going to fall incomplete. Either way, he was breaking it up. Couldn't hang on to the pick. So hits the ground, brings up fourth down. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. You got to secure the pick before anything else. Up 
Oh, and that's not gonna do it. He hooked it. The kick no good. Wide left. And the deficit remains two scores. Well, there's certainly never, ever a guarantee from that distance, but that's one you'd expect to be in your kicker's range. You hate to have a drive come away with nothing, but that's exactly what happened. The Saints are going to take over now near the end of the half. And with all their timeouts remaining, Brock, they may be able to put a little something together here before halftime. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Got his target. It's Hill. And they finally bring him down. But that is a big gain and a new set of downs. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Running back sent in motion. Throwing on first down, it's Carr. Gets this to Johnson. This is ahead for about five. That was Xavier McKinney that time with the tackle. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Hey. Hey, we'll Rolling again. It's Carr. And he can't escape. The Packers drop him. The Saints call their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Working out of the gun. It's Carr. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. And he's not going to get something done. They take him down. So that's how our first half's going to end. A momentum-building play for their defense. All right, Kate, thanks very much. More from you and the old quarterback momentarily. But first, let's give everyone a look at what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started out at GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Patrick Mahomes, another strong performance, as his guys claim victory number 13 on the year. From there, we head east to Baltimore to check on the Ravens at home at MNT Bank Stadium. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Pittsburgh Steelers. Lamar Jackson, another strong performance, as his guys claim victory number 13 on the year. Lastly, let's head to Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati to see what's happening with the Bengals. And they were winners in that ball game over the visiting Cleveland Browns. Joe Burrow leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out to K. Scott and Brock Ewer. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewer. On now is McManus to kick this away. It's Keyshawn Nixon with the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Out comes Green Bay. They have the first series of this second half. And their defense sure has kept this game close. Now it's time for them to come through, get some points for their team in this low scoring affair. They're out and set, first and ten. On the handoff, here's Jacobs. 
And finally, they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. A give to Jacobs on the inside handoff. And defenders are there to get him at the line. That play wrapped up by Demario Davis. They'll need four to convert now after no gain on second down. You know, Kate, over the years I've heard running backs say there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Yeah, and this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his hands, couldn't hang on. It's going to be fourth down. Punt team on the field. It'll be Daniel Whelan doing the honors. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. Takes it in at the 26. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they're going to take over possession. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and 10 coming up. Here's a give inside to Camara, and he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. Blitz coming, Carr. Taken in by Shaheen. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. New set of downs for him from the 46. They kick the running back in motion. Catch made by Alvin Kamara. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Andrew and Cooper there to make the stop. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve, some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. Running behind center with Kamara. He's able to drive that pile about a yard. Edger and Cooper there to make the stop. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. Now Carr. That's caught for the first. And they make the tackle at the 38. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's good for a New Orleans first down. Carr setting to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And they get this down to the 28. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Saints are going to have a first down. They run it from the gun with Camara. And he's able to drive them forward into the red zone. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Here's second and two. He finds Johnson. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Oh, look at this. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Breaks the tackle. Still going. Has room into the secondary. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. Well, this offense is trying to keep the defense off balance down here in the red zone. Mixing in receiver runs with everything else they love to do. And the best part is, it's working. He gets them several yards on that play. Kamara is in. Touchdown, New Orleans. The Saints push their lead further to start the half. Alvin Kamara, the touchdown. McManus on for the extra point. 
Yellow, one, blue, check. Check white. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Saints take a three possession lead. On now is McManus to kick this away. Has this at the six. This return makes it up to the 25. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Let's go now. Hut. Jacobs running behind center. And without much room to work, he has a minimal gain on the final play of the third quarter. We're through three on this holiday weekend. It's not quite over yet, but it'd take a pretty miraculous comeback. We've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter. Second down now, seven to go. Down. Ready? From the 28. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Loss of 10 yards on the play. It's now third down. Set, hut. Set. Here's Love. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done, incomplete. Looking for Christian Watson that time. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Has it at the 37. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. 58 yards on the punt there. And it's going to be their football coming up. The Saints enjoying some good field position to start this drive off. First and 10 coming up. Running left. This is Kamara. And this one doesn't go far. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. Run here with Kamara. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Well, after that play, training staff is headed out. That's one of their top guys who's shaken up. And they're going to need him back for the upcoming postseason. So out now comes the punter. Joseph Charlton, the one to send it away. And there won't be a return on this one. It's out of bounds, and the mark looks to be at about the 16-yard line. Now here comes the Green Bay offense. The opportunity to win this game is, well, it's long gone, Brock. They're down to their last opportunities now to avoid the shutout as well. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Love looking to pass. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Hey, Kate, <laughs> I think we know that the quarterback's a demanding position because not only do you have to have a clock in your head, but you've got to have a spatial awareness of where you are on the field. And once you start retreating, going backward and backward and backward, you got to just sling the ball in the stands. Otherwise, well, you take a huge negative sack like that. Ooh, very fortunate that didn't go as a turnover. So they're left facing third and long. Ready, ready, cut, cut. Throwing from near his own goal line. Gets this one to Watson. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. 
but they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Well, best of luck here. It's fourth and a considerable distance. Ready. Love from the gun. That's incomplete on fourth down, and they'll turn over possession. Hey, I get it. it's already over, but go down swinging. Unfortunately, that play, like so many of them today, Kate, has been pretty indicative of how this contest has gone. They'll run with Camara. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Call it around three on the play. They're set up with second and goal from the five. Another shot for Camara. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from Green Bay. Saints playing spoiler to an undefeated season. Buckle up. It's third and goal. I'll try with Camara. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. Give him five on the run. Now it's fourth and goal. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And special teams convert to get them a little something out of that possession. Yet another shot across the bow of a ship that's already sinking here, Kate. He could have made that field goal. Heck, he could have turned around and kicked it directly at his coach because it feels like they've got this one in hand. Nixon now to return it. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. All right, we'll take a brief time out here for an injured player. Never something you want to see this late in the season. They're going to check him out. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here we go, set. Set, huh? Love now to throw. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Yeah, this is a time where offensively you got to regroup. You got to get in that huddle. You know, and quarterback is the most important leadership position. Everyone's looking at you. And as a QB, after taking a sack like that, golly, you got to flush it, instill some confidence, and move this ball forward. Trying to find his tight end. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Shotgun now for Love. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? You got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going. And then more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. Desperation time here on fourth. Throw caught by his running back. And he's tackled for a short game. The Packers take their first time out. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. They'll go to a knee, and that defense can only stop the clock two more times. They could stop the clock now if they choose. In the final moments of the game, every second counts. If you're going to call a timeout, you want to be right next to that official to signal it in just as that knee goes down. Second down. Probably going to see him kneel it again here. So this a win on the road for the Saints. And a lot to be happy with on both sides of the football as they come away with a total team victory in this one.
This has been another edition of the NFL on EA Sports. With all our crew here and my broadcast partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. It's a win for the Saints as we say so long from Green Bay.